If you plan to collaborate on a project with other musicians or producers who aren't using GarageBand, you're going to have to send them some or all of the tracks in your project so they can import them into their DAW of choice. How to go about exporting these tracks, or stems as they're known, isn't immediately apparent in GarageBand for Mac. In this quick tip, I'll show you how. Okay, what we're going to do here is export each track that you want to send individually. In GarageBand for Mac, the first thing to do is switch the LCD settings to time. This will allow you to identify when specific tracks start and end, and you can pass that information on to the person you're collaborating with. Next, select the first track you want to export and hit the solo button. Activate the cycle region by clicking on the grey line above the ruler here and resize and position it so that it spans the length of the track you are exporting. With that done, click on Share in the toolbar at the top and select Export Song to Disk. Select your desktop as the outgoing destination, choose WAVE as the file type, make sure the highest bit quality is selected, check the Export Cycle Area box and name the exported file as descriptively as possible. For example, I'll call this one Rhythm Guitar 1. Hit export and your first stem will be sent to your Mac's desktop. Rinse and repeat until all of the stems that you want to send are exported. A bonus tip here, if you plan to send these stems via email, pop them all into a single folder, name it appropriately, and then right or control click on it. Choose the compress option, from the menu that pops up and your folder and its contents will be compressed, reducing the size of the file and making it easier to send as an email attachment. That'll about do it for this quick tip. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com. Bye for now.